Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome, my name is Claire. I've got a limited edition unboxing to share with you and it is Look Fantastic and it's the Scent Edit Box. That's what it looks like. Now this box was released on their website last week and as soon as I saw it, I had to get it. <laughs> I could not resist. I've got a thing for perfumes, but I'm quite fussy. I was a little bit worried about what my thoughts would be about the perfumes inside this box, but I thought the gamble was just too good to turn down, so I bought it. So this arrived this morning, and there's a little bit of a shock inside, which I'll tell you a little bit more about it as I open it up. It's nothing too bad, but it's a little bit misleading. So to get your hands on this scent edit box, it will cost you £55. You receive some little mini perfumes, which are gorgeous. I have had a look inside. They are stunning, little gorgeous perfumes. And you get a mascara and you get a little bag. But as well as that, I'll open it up and show you in more detail in a minute. Get a little voucher. So inside we have a little card. I'm covering up my code because just in case one of you decide to try and use it and then I can't use it and I can't get my perfume but it entitles you to have £55 off a perfume on the Look Fantastic website. I love the idea of it, I think it is fab and it'd be lovely if they brought out more boxes like this actually. Maybe not £55 but maybe a box of little miniature ones for like £30 or something like that. So on their website it states that you'll receive a voucher in your box for £55 which you can choose a perfume of your choice. Now I took that as I could buy any perfume off the Look Fantastic website. So I had already bagged, well, put it in my basket, a new Marc Jacobs perfume. I think it's spring, oh so fresh. That was already in my basket, ready to buy. But then when I read it here, I thought, oh no, oh no. And this is before I smelt any of the perfumes inside the box. It says here, in teeny tiny writing, only redeemable, on basically the perfumes inside the box so if you like the perfume any of the perfumes inside the box you can have 55 pound off a full size version and only those perfumes so i couldn't get my mark jacobs unfortunately you've got 12 months from the date of purchase of the box to choose your perfume so if you are a fan of these perfumes then i do think yeah you know if you're planning on getting a perfume for yourself or birthday or a gift or something then i do think then yeah this box is definitely worth it especially for the gorgeous little samples which i'll show you so yeah so those are the perfumes so we've got four like little mini perfumes and we've got two samples and then we've got a bag and a lipstick and there we go Woo! can you see there so I'll go through it one by one so the first perfume I got is Alien by Moogla or oh, Moogla Moogla I never owned this perfume so I don't really know how to pronounce it and um, Moogla <laughs> Moogla Moogla it's a perfume and there's six mils here so really great sizes they are really considering that you know you get perfumes 15 mils 30 mils etc so if you love these little perfumes that I'm about to show you then great plus even if i don't like them they are going on my perfume stand because they are stunning <laughs> i'm not going to give them away <laughs> look at that look at that so this is where it's going to get confusing now because i haven't smelled any of these yet i've just had a look at them so i'm gonna have to work out where where to put them okay let's try a little bit there Now to give you an idea of the perfumes I love, my absolute top, 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 top perfume is Yves Saint Laurent Libra. That is my favourite. It's been my favourite since it came out. I absolutely love it. <laughs> I adore it. I also like um, Marc Jacobs Daisy. Not the original Daisy, don't like that, but I like that it's a fresh one. Paco Rabanne Olympia, I like Chanel um, Entendre, Chance Entendre. So, those are the sort of scents I like. So nothing too sweet and nothing super, you know, super strong and powerful. I do like a mix of floral and fruit. <laughs> it's not really my perfume. Not what I would. Mm, I don't know what to say about it. 
Presenting both the peace and power of a woman, this intensely feminine fragrance transports you to another world. Sambac Jasmine intoxicates the senses with warm mystical scents, whilst Kashmir wood envelopes the skin in a warm musky note. Finally, one white amber lifts the fragrance with elegance and spark, leaving a lasting impression. No, it's not really for me, unfortunately. No, I will not be using my £55 voucher to buy the full size version of that. Next then, we've got Victor and Rolf, and this is Flower Bomb, and there's seven mils here. See, I love these packaging, little minis. They're just adorable, aren't they? Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, that is so, so cute. So, so cute. Hmm. Is it quite sweet? Let's try a little bit there. <laughs> Just trying to find spaces. Hmm. I think I prefer this one than the alien. <laughs> but it's too sweet for me. Yeah, it's too sweet for me. Okay, I won't be spending £55 on that unfortunately but what is it all about unleash a floral explosion victor and rolf's iconic flower balm eau de perfume an addictive combination of floral notes and warm woody undertones create the ideal perfume for sensory bliss tea bergamot and freesia provide the top notes for the scent with an intense and rich undertone of cashmere and patchouli mm. <laughs> no not for me but then we've got here this is lancome Lancome, what did I say? Yeah, idle. We've got five mils there. Can you see there? Okay. Nice little bottle. Mmm, that's promising. <laughs> that's promising. Let's try a little bit on my wrist there or my hand. Okay. Oh, that one's nice. Oh, I'm so happy so happy <laughs> at least i like one. Oh, that is really nice i do really like that one i don't think i've ever tried any lancome perfumes before i got it all over my fingers now <sighs> yeah i do really like that it's quite sweet but quite floral but mm, it is nice the luminous floral heart of this fragrance lends subtle notes of patchouli essence cedar essence and vanilla extracts creating a dewy yet radiant freshness sustainably sourced rose essence creates create a fresh and elegant floral infusion light enough for daytime wear this fragrance is truly the embodiment of modern empowered and femininity i hate rose smells <laughs> has it got rose well it's got has got rose in it but yeah no i like that that is nice lancome idol next we've got ysl and this is black opium now none of these perfumes i've smelt before or if i have i obviously didn't like them and i they didn't register in my brain but i'm excited because obviously my favorite favorite perfume oh my gosh look at this bottle <gasps> my favorite perfume is libra oh my gosh look at that How gorgeous is that bottle? Oh, that's stunning. It's a black opium. Okay. Oh, please, please let me like it. Is this one really sweet as well? Let's try. Oh, it's not too bad. It's just a little bit too sweet for me. Mm, it's too sweet for me. Gutted. Gutted. What's it say about it? This is 7.5 mils, enticing and captivating. This perfume invites you to a sensual world of pear accord and orange blossom. It sounds exactly what I like. Um, and highlights the vulnerability that comes with being a modern woman. The heart notes of creamy vanilla and crisp white flowers invigorate the senses whilst a hit of black coffee adds a dash of flair to the perfume. See, if I saw that written down, I'd be like, yeah, that is my perfume. Little do I know. Like the flower bomb and the alien was a definite no-no. This one is like, 
it's okay but it's not great but it, at least i like the idol so far anyway so those are the four like mini perfumes now for the two samples i have tried these before in samples they've got jojo amani and sai or si sai si <laughs> and i think i like this one let's see what it looks like there yeah it's a spray one so instead of spraying me i'll just spray the See, that smells sweet, but it's gorgeous. It smells of peaches. Oh, that's so nice. Smell. No. Oh, that's so nice. It does smell of peaches, you know. <laughs> but is it too sweet on my skin? Does it? Oh, it doesn't tell me about it there. Okay. No, because these are samples. They don't tell me about it. And then we've got another Giorgio Imani, Armani sample. And it's just falling out my way and i'm sure i've tried this one before as well so what's it say about this one then bergamot and orange blossom tubular rose and jasmine cedarwood white musks and vanilla okay they're all mixed up together now aren't they oh <laughs> i think i like that one I'm going to have to try them all individually. Well, I'm going to have to try the two Armani ones and the Skin Idol one. They're all like blending into one, but I do really like that. I think anyway. Okay, there's not much in there though. My gosh, it's only half full. What's supposed to be there? One mils, 1.2 mils. Okay, so those are all the perfumes. And then we got a little lipstick from Lancome as well. And this is, is this Mr. Big? Monsieur Big. I've tried this one, uh, this mascara, oh, ages and ages ago, maybe a year ago, I think. A little sample in something, I can't remember where I tried it, but yeah, I do. I can't remember if I liked it or not, but looking at the bristles, it's a type of brush that I would go for, type of mascara I'd go for. We've got a little bag, and I'm assuming this is for Alien perfume, maybe, has it got a little star there? I don't know, does it say there? Oh yeah, it just says Moogler. Moogler. Is that how you say it? Moogler. Moogler. Is the G um, silent? Moog Muggler. <laughs> oh, look. Look. That's nice. <laughs> I am really glad I went for it. Obviously, there's some perfumes there I don't like. I'm not keen on. But I do love the bottles. So I'm going to keep them. <laughs> Maybe I'll see if my daughter likes them. And then when she's finished using them, when they've come to the end, she'll give them back to me so I can add them into my little uh, perfume collection over there. Now, this is actually a gift for me <laughs> for my birthday from my husband. I bought it and then I um, told my husband about it. And he goes, yeah, OK. So I'm keeping the box here. But when the perfume comes, he'll keep it and give it to me on my birthday. And then he'll pay me back. <laughs> It's a bit of a roundabout way of um, present giving, but it's fine. It's fine. But I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you think of this box? Have you bought one for yourself? Do you love these perfumes? Or are you thinking, do you know what? No, not for you. All your thoughts and opinions, I'd love to know. So please comment down below. But I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, it'd be lovely if you give me a big thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel for lots more videos to come. So take care and I'll speak soon. Bye.